Hey guys, my name's Henry Martin. I'm a professional guide with Catching Dinosaurs Guide Service. I wanted to answer a question I get pretty often, and that is, what is inside my gar fishing bag? So I figured we could go over that real quick and I could show you all what I carry with me every day whenever I go gar fishing. All right, so I figured we could start in the front pouch and I have a couple of things in here. The first I have is 40 pound rigging floss. I use this to bridle my bait. Um, this is how I attach my hook to my bait and basically I'm just pulling off about a foot of this tying a knot in it and then that's what I use for my little loop to bridle. The other thing I have the front in my bag is I have mortician's needles. These are six inch ones and I have a couple of four inch ones that I have just as backup. You'll hear me say keep backup multiple times as we do this video so that's what I have in my front pouch of my gar fishing bag. We're gonna go to the sides real quick. And on this side, all I have is a pair of gloves. You never know when you're gonna need gloves. Generally, I don't use them whenever I'm handling fish, but you never know if you have to cut a line and you're having to hand line or something, this could save you from losing your fingers. So have a pair of gloves. You never know if you have like your wife or a kid with you, they can always slip these on and their hands will be a little bit more protected too. I flip my bag around and we're going to go into this side. I have, this is a backup rope right here. This is just in case I lose my other rope or I have two fish that I need to lasso. I always have a backup to basically everything. So here's that. The other things I have on this side of my bag is I have several weights. These are five and three ounce weight. All right, so with the lead, I don't actually use it to stick my baits to the bottom. The reason why I have those is in case I lose a rod in the river, I can tie those on and throw it into the river and try to snag my line and get my rod back. Another reason to do it is if you get a fish that goes through a snag, you can cast it to the other side and get your line so that you could retie through a snag, basically. So it serves several reasons like that, mostly for technical stuff that's very hard to do unless you've done it multiple times. go into the heart of what's in my bag and this is kind of what it looks like I'm gonna pull everything out but I think okay first things first I have a spool of line this is my 300 pound holocord leader I just have it on this particular thing it's not 50 pound mono but 300 pound holocord leader this is from Jerry Brown I use this specifically for gar I don't use any other leader I don't use wire this is better take my word for it or don't I don't really care this is better these are my pair of pliers. I put these on my hip most days. These are Accurates, I think eight inches, and I've had these for like 10 years. So they're pretty good, I'd suggest them. Next thing down, we have a pair of wire clippers. And honestly, the only reason why I have these in my bag anymore is for cutting off fins to carp and that sort of thing so that I don't actually hurt gar whenever they eat my baits. I used to have to have these to release fish if they ate my hooks deep because I was, you know, fishing wire and stuff. I had to have them for wire, but literally the only reason why they're in my bag right now is to cut the fins off of carp. Another thing, backup knife. Like I said, you always need a backup for everything. This thing is very, very sharp. Um, here's some of that line. Just straight through it. Yeah, always have a backup. That's a backup knife in case somebody, you know, a friend dumps out your bait knife, dumping out the extra bait or something like that. Have a backup. Next thing I have is 120 inch measuring tape. Definitely need a good measuring tape. And uh, well, at least if you're tagging to release them or if you want to boost your ego like most people. Anyway, so uh, measuring tape is good to have. One other random thing I like to always have in my bag is electrical tape. You never know if somebody comes into your boat and they don't have the bottom of their spool taped down and their line's just spinning, or you could fix a motor with this. You can use it as uh, first aid. There's just a billion uses out here. I always find something to use duct tape for, so I keep some around. Another thing I keep a lot of in my bag, I only have one right now, but usually I keep about six or so in here, is my floats. These are five inch floats and these do not suspend my bait, they just mark the location. So it's just a slip float. 
One of the last things in my bag is some needle nose pliers. I use these to open Gar's mouths and also to get hooks out. It probably couldn't hurt to have two of these in your bag. All right, the last thing I have is this little pouch and this has all my hooks and everything else in it, which really isn't too much stuff. So I'm gonna show y'all real quick. So on this side, I have Gamakatsu live bait, one knot hooks. This is the only hook I've used for two to three years now for alligator gar. I've guided over and over again. I've done better than plenty of guides. I've done just as well as I used to or better with them. I've caught eight foot gar with these and I've had 30 day, 30 fish days where we caught 30 fish in a day on these hooks. So I recommend them. Um, you know, it really doesn't matter what fish you catch if you hurt it and it, you know, leaves bleeding and hurt and dying. Like you're not really accomplishing anything that's worthwhile, I guess is kind of my point. So one knot hooks, I recommend them. Next thing I have is tagging equipment. This is from fishtagger.com. And um, I'm gonna do a video specifically about this if you're curious about it. So keep, keep an eye out for that. One other thing I have is these are just glass beads. I had need these for my slip float. They stop the bobber from going all the way up your line. Very important, I need to get some more of them. One other thing that I'm using is 230 pound spro swivels and I keep about 50 or 60 extra at all times. And uh, All right, guys, believe it or not, that is literally everything that's in my bag. I carry nothing else in there. The only other things that I absolutely have to have with me to go gar fishing is I have a three foot D hooker that I carry with me. And I also keep a youth lasso for roping my fish to control them before we release them. But like I said, guys, it's literally the only things in this bag. Super, super simple. I don't have crimpers, crimps, wire, anything like that. And uh, hope y'all learned something.